I've decided to come back to the craziest Dragon Ball Z mod I've ever played. I'm talking Dragon Ball Z Budokai Tenkaichi 3 with over 200 characters added in. Only this time, I'm going to make the computers fight themselves. Along the way, I'll be having my Twitch chat place bets on who they think is going to win. So in a way, we're kind of running like a semi-legal Dragon Ball betting ring. But uh, as long as we just don't bring it up with the, the Dragon Ball cops, we should be fine. Chat, give me some... Who do, we, who do we want to see in the first match? Do we want it to be a team match? Do we want it to be a fusion match? I think we should do fusion. Does anybody... Is there an adult Gotenks, by the way? Who wants to see adult Gotenks versus Kefla? All right, let's get the bets up and running. How do you participate? You got to predict. Right now, Gotenks in the lead with 66% of the vote. Kefla taking a little bit of that back, but no, Kefla's going to finish with 35%. Kefla can make a lot of people rich today if she pulls it out on the big screen. Here we are, match number one of our tournament betting day. We've got adult Gotenks versus Kefla. Cameraman taking his sweet time getting to the ring, but our contestant... Okay, and his Spanish is just as beautiful as I remember. Kefla's model looks really good in this game. They even gave adult Gotenks the sword. They were they were in their bet. Oh, what a grab! Destroys half the arena with one blow. Gotenks was the crowd favorite, and it looks like he's proven why. Will he actually use the sword on his back at all? Couple of key blasts to open Kefla up, but she's not having any of it. Big overhead. Kefla steps back into it. Both swinging at the air. Will we see a transformation? Kefla with a nice six-piece combo. No drink. Long range grab. What was she thinking? Gotenks blocks, it's burning breaker time. Kefla smacks him out of it. Gotenks with the counter. Dragon Ball anime. Gotenks misses. Oh, another counter. But Kefla's not even trying to dodge this time. Chat's already screaming rigged, but I think it might just be that Gotenks was the favorite and we're seeing why. He hasn't even gone Super Saiyan, let alone Super Saiyan 3. Oh, watch out. It's Kefla from behind. Multi-punch. Just putting the absolute hurt on Gotenks. That could have been a ring out if we were still going by Cell's original rules. My God, she's at full power. She's coming back with another move. Big damage. She's about tied the game up. Bro is selling. We, we, we're seeing allegations of selling in the chat. Kefla versus Gotenks. A huge super Kamehameha. Gotenks rushes towards him on the ground. Another rush from Kefla, but Gotenks chooses to dodge. We might see the stage get even more destroyed. Launches her into a hole. Damn, he threw her into the holes. Hector Zeroni. They're both with their ultimates. Nobody's transformed just yet. Gotenks still has the health lead. Kefla backsteps into an energy beam. She's got the lead, and she's going Super Saiyan. If Gotenks doesn't respond, this could very well be the end. Huge beam from Gotenks, but he hasn't powered up himself. Kefla instead having a huge attribute boost. Good counter by Gotenks. Kefla can't beat it. The finish sign comes up from Gotenks. He's decided to stay in his base form. Super Kamehameha is going to do it. Gotenks, the favorite, takes it home against Kefla. Clapping his hands, dusting him off. He didn't even need to tap into that Super Saiyan form to get the win here today. And, uh, well, let's just say a lot of people gambled. And if we're being honest, you know, the crowd favorite won on this one. Somebody, Somebody's calling out the next match. What's this? Pan versus Beast Gohan? All right, we could do Pan versus Beast Gohan. A very fair matchup if I've ever seen one. Are we gambling on this? Oh, wait. People are gambling on Pan versus Beast Gohan. People in chat saying it's not even fair. But granted, you could just gamble on Beast Gohan if you think it's that easy. Let's go ahead and see how many people think Pan will actually clutch up. Only. 22% of people are Pan fans. And uh, to be honest, I could I could see that. I could see that. Pan one shots. Let's see. She won all those tournament matches, you know? So we've seen her come out here and perform. But against Beast Gohan, I just don't know if it's going to be possible. Damn. Who did? Who? Go on. You got to take Pan to a different barber. They fucked her up for real. Oh, Pan with the silly face. I don't think they want to fight. They're off. They're off. They've settled their differences. Pan's not even worried. Gohan seems to not want to fight, but Pan, not afraid of anything, giving him the mains. Damn, Pan's got to put in the herd on Beast Gohan. Overhead, he's got to learn to block. Gohan's screaming about something. Pan deflects him. Fine, guess it's my, wow, what a block. Damn, she's fast too. This is the average trade. This is post Dragon Ball superhero movie training session art. Oh, a clash between Beast Gohan and Pan. Pan takes it. At this point, if you're a Beast Gohan fan, you've got to be scared. She jumps over the beam and then back down into it. I don't know if Pan knows how to fly yet. She's tapping into her Saiyan root. She's got a bit of a boost, but not by much. Gohan very well could pull out the special beam kit. What a dodge! My God, Gohan just couldn't escape. Another dodge by Pan. Oh my God. Gohan is taking back the lead here slowly by slow. He by God, if Pan gets hit by this, it might be over. Oh, but she's too fast. She's too quick. Gohan's doing his finish side. He thinks he might finish it one blow. Pan tries to throw a key blast. It's not going to... Oh. Insane speeds. She probably could have taken out Cell Max 1v1. Oh my god. Beast Gohan again just throwing hands though. Pan making moves. Make sure to catch. Oh no, another special beam cannon. Pan can't take the hit. Oh, she does though. 
Another clash. She wins another one. She's got Beast on, on corner. Go on with the dodge. Pam with a flurry of attacks. She's too low on health, though. Go on only needs one more good blow. Ooh. Not a bad performance for Pan, but Beast go on. You know, I mean, let's be honest. We all expected that. I don't even know why we're pretending we didn't. Yeah, we all, uh, someone says rigged. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know what more we could have done there. All right, for this next one, how about we make it a little team battle? What if we do Goten and Trunks, right, from Super Hero? Hear me out. I like to believe that Goten and Trunks could easily beat the Gammas. I'm talking low difficulty here. I'm thinking this is a nice 2v2 match. Will we even see a fusion? It's, it's possible. Let's kick it back over to the chat. What are we thinking here? Gamma 1 and 2 versus Goten and Trunks. The bets are still coming in. Right now, people are leaning towards... Whoa! Goten and Trunks take a huge sweep. Gamma 1 and 2 take it right back. Somebody went all in on Gamma's 1 and 2. But will it matter? Will Goten and Trunks not be able to win like I think they will? It's 46 to 54%. Goten and Trunks officially the underdogs. But if they fuse... They might fuse. They might just shock the world. Oh, Goten wearing a different fit. He's from GT. Is that Kid Trunks? Goten with a nice strong start. Game is fighting back. Goten's on the rise. Boom. Bam. He's got him looking different, looking goofy. He's beating his ass everywhere. And follows it up with a key blaster too. Goten blocks. Leads with a nice upper kick. Another knee to the chest. Right now, Gamma 1 struggling. Another, another super for Goten here. The Gamma fans have got to be scared now. It's not a ton of damage Goten's doing, but at this point, you just got to see that any is better than none. Kamehameha, keeping it basic, but basic's going to work. Grab, throw him into the mountain. Gamma 1, not doing a lot for his brother. Gamma 2 is going to need a huge clutch up if he's going to win here. Goten's stuck behind some rocks. Goten's stuck in rocks. He can't get out. He's been found. Will the rest of the battle happen here? Justice finishing pose. Gamma with the counter. Goten not going to let it happen. They're fighting in the geometry. What a teleport. Mid-rush. Gamma blocks the grab. But Sentido still have it. Goten, a little too fast. Gamma would need a miracle if he's going to make a comeback now. Dodges the Kamehameha. Destructive punch. Goten can't block it. He's going to take at least 10k damage. 11k. And here comes the destructive punch itself. 16k and he's out of there. He's tagging in his brother. Goten has no idea what's happening. He's getting done like a Jujutsu Kaisen villain. He's brought out the gun. Goten not tagging the trunks or going into Gotenks. Goten just thinks he can do it all by himself. Goten needs to let his pride go away. He's fighting Gamma 2, but he's not the same as his brother. He misses his Kamehameha. He's, he goes on the retreat. Nice counter. But Gamma 2 is a little faster than Gamma 1. I heard Gamma yell back there. I heard him yell back there. It's the same move we saw Pan use. For three bars, he's going to get increases his... his I don't barely even know his strength. I don't think the three bars was worth it. He's got a gun. Go, oh, Goten dodges just to run back into it. At this point, if you're a Goten fan, you've got to want him to tag out. He's charging at Gamma, who did a finishing pose. Blaster. This might just kill. Goten's down. It's up to just Trunks. Burning attack. He lands it. He's pissed that Goten went down to this, this shark boy looking at Trunks with a nice block. Goes into a rush base move, but not enough. Trunks is going to have to do a lot of heavy lifting here. Goten did a great job against Gamma 1, but just never tagged out. Trunks with a nice combo. Follows up. Digs him into the snow. He's trying to give Gamma 2 a new grave. Gamma 2 does have key sickness. If Goten did anything, he did, in fact, hold out long enough for Gamma 2 to make a mistake. Huge opening for Trunks here. A great combo. Trunks definitely showing off that, uh, that superior skill here. Oh! Teleports away from the Sentido trap. I don't think Gamma 2 is going to get rid of this sub, uh, this key sickness. Not when Trunks is just tracking him down. It's just not looking good. A backstep into a rush attack, but he gets grabbed by Gamma 2. Trunks still has a good amount of health bars. I would say even when you're combining both of their health, Trunks probably still has the health lead at this point. Gamma 2 is yelling. Trunks, could he be making a mistake by letting Gamma 2 get rid of this key sickness? Trunks doesn't seem to care. He's not going Super Saiyan. Instead, he's going to power up to his ultimate. A full stack of key for both of our competitors today. I have a funny feeling that this game's going to be decided by whoever lands the ultimate. Gamma instead opts to use his blaster. Trunks is the only one with full key left. Teleports. Lays out a combo. Could he be going burst mode? Not yet. He's instead going to offer burning attack, but it lands. That's one step above blaster missing. Gamma 2 is going to leave. Gamma 1's back with a full power energy wave. Could the brothers be trying something out here? Goten had mastered this matchup, but to Trunks, this is brand new. Oh my god. Justice pose! It's blinding! Trunks can't see! And if he can't see, he can't dodge. Luckily, that full power energy wave was not full powered at all. That that did barely any damage. He has to stop the grab, I agree. Trunks needs to clutch up right now. 
misses his grab. It was a dangerous thing to go for. One health bar left on Gamma 1. Trunks with a great dodge. A nice combo. He goes for the grab again. It actually lands it. He's giving him the Rock'em Sock'em Robot. And he's going into Super Saiyan. Trunks is done playing around. If you were rooting for Goten and Trunks, this is a very encouraging sign. He's dealt with the first Gamma. Can he handle Gamma 2? A grab. Big damage. Key Blast follow-up. He's almost tied up the game. Trunks boosting up his attack, though. This might very well be it. He's got a block. He does. He hits the block. It's a tie game. Gamma with a little bit of health lead. Gamma 2 spamming the gun. Trunks with a good teleport here. It's going to be close. Gamma 2, big hit. Three big hits. Trunks not going to allow it. Another counter by Gamma. Oh, my God. I can't even speak. It's getting a little too intense for words to do it justice. Trunks lands a big grab, but will it be enough time? He's going to boost up his attack even more? More Key Blast. It just doesn't seem worth it, but Trunks might have another plan. A huge combo. He's almost got the lead back. He tried to do it again. Gamma actually stopped him, I think, to his benefit. Gamma's going maximum power. Trunks didn't stop him. He opted to charge him. Sacrifice! Gamma 2 is going to blow himself up for the W. If Trunks is in range, he's dead for sure. He's done it. Gamma 2 clutches up and explodes. Trunks couldn't get away. And Gamma 2 takes it. Let's get a live look at the gamblers today. A lot of people claiming Trunks sold, and I think he did as well. Now let's get downright wacky with it. I'm trying to see three random versus three random. 18, okay. This is just for team one. Kefla, team, could it be team women? Uh, Dispo, okay. We've got 18 Kefla and Dispo, and who will make up our team of three on the other side? We've got Vegito, Super Vegito. We've got Trunks, Dragon Ball Super Trunks. And then we've got Android 21. Who do we think is going to take it, Team 1 or Team 2? Let's get a live look at the chat. What are we thinking here, Team 1 or Team 2? Damn, a lot of Team 2 fans, they don't believe in the 18 lead. That is not the full tracksuit outfit, is it? I, I thought she was wearing pink everything, but she's got like some, some slack. Oh, is this Superhero 18? She's just kind of chilling. A big start for 18, lands a grab on Vegito, slaps him up. If you're a Vegito fan, you've got to feel disrespected at that one. Totally blocks Vegito. Anti-Team 1 haters might have judged the team a little too harshly. Vegito kicked across the screen, 18 with the follow-up. She is an android, so she doesn't have access to that key charge. She's just going to have to build it up naturally. Whether that's a good thing or a bad thing, I'll leave it up to the, uh, the audience to decide. But right now, I'm feeling like it might be a little worse for wear. A nice dodge, though. She's making the most out of the key she has access to. Vegito tries to get something out of that, but 18, it stops him. And he can't even block. He can't see. Perhaps Vegito's a little overconfident. What a dodge by 18 into a grab. Slaps him up again. Vegito is doing an all-time an all salesman job right now. He is selling up a storm. Who wins the clash? It's 18 again. 18 at this point, a pink destructo disc. At this point, you've got to be worried. Full power by 18. I don't even know what her ultimate could be. She tried to backstep and do it. Doesn't let Vegito land a grab at all. Vegito is just not being able to play the game. Another pink destructo disc, opting not to go for the ultimate. Instead, going for death by a thousand cuts. It seems to be working. Vegito can't stop the onslaught. Danzikin, a nice block by 18. Can't teleport anymore. Both, both contestants do have key sickness. I think that's going to be a little bit bigger of a deal for Vegito, though. No grabs allowed by 18. Hands off the merchandise. Vegito's fast, but he's just talking too much trash. Every time he teleports, instead of getting a combo, he just... Vegito's out. Perhaps he recognized he needs help. He calls it 21. But 21 just misses. Oh, just I was making sure, but she did spawn him with her glasses. I don't know what excuse she has for the poor aim then. 18 at this point has done a good enough job against Vegito, and she's just looking for either a spot to switch out or to do as much damage to 21 as possible. 21 seems to know her way around a fight. She's doing a lot of damage. A little bit better than Vegito if I had to pick a side. Another Key Blast Super. 21 is taking no prisoners. 18 has ability to dash away. Goes for Infinity Bullet. And each one of those bullets is going to connect. Super Unyielding Spirit. She finds the will to get that ultimate back. Another Clash. If 18 wins this, will she go with the ultimate? She doesn't, so we don't even have to consider that. A nice dodge. A pink Destructo just comes out. The first and second both miss. And 21 responds with a Super of her own. Oh, if that kick would have connected, it doesn't matter. 21 wins the trade. A tag out. Kefla comes back in. Will we be seeing Kefla tap into Super Saiyan? She did it in her first match in this video, but... Oh, 21 is competing today. 21 is just winning. She wins every engagement. I'll be honest, I didn't see 21 being the difference maker that she is right now. Unreal, what a counter. And a huge combo follow-up. Kefla's going in for the rush attack. 
Android 21 couldn't see behind the key blast. Damn! That's a lot of damage and a huge key blast follow-up of that. Kefla just will not lay off the gas. She's hoping that her speed's gonna overwhelm 21. If Kefla can take 21 out fast enough, Vegito's already injured. 18 did a good job of seeing to that. Oh, hands off the merchandise. Key Blast coming. Oh, what are you doing down here? I think they're up against the wall now, though, so combos are gonna be a, a bit less excessive. Nice jump kick. Nice dive kick. Gotta, gotta look out for those. Oh, my God. No grab by 21. There it is. Ooh, what was that? The Zongya grab? 21 is charging your key. Kefla gonna do the same. Maxed out at four bars. If we were ever gonna see a transformation from Kefla, it would be now. But she's not opting to do it. She must have a different plan. She wants to land a big kick. Ooh, another super. That does big damage, almost 10k a piece. Kefla not using her ultimate at all. The energy wave. It's not a question of whether or not Kefla can take out 21. If you want team one to win, you have to hope she does. If she doesn't, it's pretty much game over because Vegito's still in the game. 21 put up a great fight though. And an even better fight, it's still not even over. She's left. She's tagged back into Vegito. Vegito's gonna try to finish the job. And he might just, oh. A lucky dodge on the Super Kamehameha. That would have been the game. It's Fusion versus Fusion. Patara versus Patara. And Kefla, feeling inspired, has decided to kick it up a notch. Oh, brother, it's the seller. Team 2 fans are not a fan of seeing Vegito back in here. Vegito's got his ultimate and additional power. Kefla looking mean. Takes half his health away. If Vegito's not careful, she might just do it again. Vegito's going to try to finish it. He still has his ultimate. Spirit Sword. Kefla goes for the ultimate and blows Vegito away. Unreal. Spirit Sword almost came up. It's only up to Trunks now. It's only up to Trunks. Impact gigantic. Gigantic impact. Maseko! Takes a good chunk out of Kefla's health, but not enough to finish the job. Kefla's not interested in going to full power. Gonna easily dodge the Masenko and respond with a beam of her own. Kefla's making a huge case for MVP of the game. If Team 2 wins, it's gotta go to 21. But as of right now, I'm just not seeing it. Kefla is here to play. She's low though, and Trunks is gonna take her out. 21 is low. Trunks is a little bit low himself. Can Dispo finish the job? High speed. Dispo's gonna get the follow-up. He's using his own energy move. Oh, Trunks with a great block. But couldn't win the counter war. By God, Dispo just will not let him rest. Dispo just will not let him rest. He's going for his ultimate. Dispo's hitting the pose. Dispo not really doing much with Max Key. Wow, there he goes. High speed rush. He's all over him. Dispo pose. He's gone full power for one bar. Trunks has had enough. 21 tags back in. But Dispo, he's going to try to find her. High speed rush wasn't enough. He tries to back up to do it again. 21 just can't stop him. She has a little bit of life left. Will we see her go into her Majin form? No, she's going to run. She's running for her life. She's tagged back out into Trunks. They're having, a, they're having a feud. They just don't know who to leave in. Neither of them want to fight Dispo. Masenko. Masenko does connect. That's a big bar taken from Dispo, but he still has such a health lead. But what a great dodge from Trunks. Trunks doesn't dodge maximum cannon. This is bad. Both members of Team 2 only have one life bar left. Trunks fighting for his life right now, but I just don't think it's going to be enough. Dispo's still charging up. Trunks goes full power himself. He's just too fast. Dispo's at his all-time fastest right now. Another clash. Dispo loses. Final flash. Dispo dodges it. All hope might be lost. All hope could be lost at this point. Dispo's going to power up again. Trunks wins the counter. Trunks wins the counter again. He just won't go down without a fight. Trunks is not giving up. Trunks just can't lose. Dispo's having too much fun, but that just is gonna do it. Unfortunately, it's gonna come down to whether or not 21 can clutch up. Trunks has lost to the speed demon himself. Here comes 21 with one health bar left. We said she was the MVP of the team. Trunks was making a case, but if she can clutch up and beat Dispo now, all doubters will be silenced. She's already lost half of her last health bar. Lands a rush attack on Dispo. She's got candy beam. Dispo's turned into... Where is he? He's invisible. I just don't think it's enough. What a dodge. Is she charging up full power? She is. If she can just escape with her health, she might have enough time to lay an ultimate. An ultimate could be the game changer we want to see. No, just a normal energy ball. But Dispo thinks he's fast enough to dodge it. He was wrong. The game's a lot closer. 21 refuses to transform. Dispo could finish the job right here with the counter. It's over. Dispo's launched her to kingdom come. Dispo has ended the game. We're seeing a lot of heartbreak tonight, but team two... Oh my goodness. The underdogs have taken a huge W today. Vegito sold. We're seeing a lot of complaints against Vegito. An absolute underdog win for team left. We're going classic. I'm keeping it real classic. We're going Goku versus Vegeta. Ready?
We're not ready. The predictions are closing in 10 seconds. Goku and Vegeta, it's a clean 50-50. It's a clean 50-50. Goku takes it back. Vegeta takes it back. Vegeta takes a smaller lead. It's over. Vegeta has the fan favorites. Vegeta is the fan favorite here. Can he win? We're going to have to find out. Uh, they're just playing a little prank on us. We're going to have to restart. Here we go. The classic match of the day. Goku versus Vegeta. How will these two competitors compete? Right now, they're just kind of keeping it real up close and personal. Damn! A huge kick from Vegeta. But Goku didn't get launched that far, if we're being honest. A little bit of downtime. Goku's found Vegeta again. Vegeta just unleashing a volley of key blast. Oh my god, the meteor combination! He dashes back though. Vegeta takes a huge lead. Who will be the first to go Super Saiyan? Who's gonna be the first to do it? Galagun! Goku dodges it and runs clear of Vegeta. He was pissed. Goku? Goku just wasting some key for fun. Oh, Goku just dodging it casually. Vegeta kind of beating his ass, though, if we're being honest. Goku needs to clutch up. A full charge coming. Oh, it barely hits, but it still hits for a chunk. The game's almost evened up again at this point. Vegeta trying to lengthen his lead. A full power charge coming. Me, oh. Vegeta dodges it. Goes with the Gallic Gun. Goku dodges that. They were dangerously close to a clash there. Could Goku be going for the Spirit Bomb? What a teleport. Vegeta misjudged the distance. He's using his Big Bang attack. He missed. And Goku is pissed now. Goku is pissed now. Damn. The Meteor Combination. He got hit. Damn. I, I want him to Meteor Combination, Vegeta. I want to see a Meteor Combination. He missed again. Eventually, Goku's going to land Meteor Combination. Actually, an insanely close match. These guys are going blow for blow. Whoever transforms, if anybody transforms, is going to have a huge advantage. Meteor combination, no way that worked. Goku has no idea what's going on. Goku does made it to dodge at that time. He needed that if he was going to get this lead back. A grab by Vegeta, though. Goku's going to hit his next health bar first. Meteor combination, part five. He finally lands it. Ugh. This is going to be big damage. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, doesn't let Vegeta land the grab. The health bars are once again, eat, 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 they're evening out. Oh my God, Goku just slid across the ground for like six country miles. Goku could go Super Saiyan 3 right now and just win. He doesn't want to though. He's too competitive. He doesn't want to make it easy. <gasps> Goku's beam is going to win that. Vegeta should have won with the Gallic Gun. Vegeta's going to need a nice string of hits here if he even wants a, a ghost of a chance at a win. Oh, Vegeta throws a key blast. Goku tells him to keep it. Vegeta's working hard to try to even out the health bars. But he's up close, and that's where Goku's gonna just be better. Damn! A hard landing against the wall. It's okay, Vegeta's spine broke his fall. Kamehameha, if this hits, it's over! Vegeta's not gonna let it happen. Not that easy. Vegeta's on his last legs. It might just be over. It might be over. They're clashing. Vegeta won. <gasps> Vegeta might have a small chance. Maybe it's not over. Is anybody gonna transform into a Super Saiyan? If the Big Bang hits, if the Spirit Bomb hits, from up close, not enough. It's even! Goku's gonna close the distance! After him strike, Vegeta lives! It's the Spirit Bomb! No way Vegeta can dodge it up close! He has to hold on! Tapping into Super Saiyan, Goku's decided to call game! It's over, Vegeta. Goodbye. Vegeta, damn, he sent Vegeta to Otherworld with that one. I thought this was a sparring session. Damn, Vegeta got erased. Well, we're gonna end it on that one. It doesn't get much better than that. Goku versus Vegeta, a classic duel. And Goku, shocker, comes out on top. I still don't know why Goku sent him to hell though. I just don't think that was very necessary for a sparring match.